Um, so first, um, we want to talk about how you can communicate with your students. There's two different ways that we've um, put steps in today. It's about how you communicate with your students. Um, one way is using the announcement tool, the, course can uh, the Canvas course announcements, and the other is using your syllabus. So if you want to talk to students in your class, you can use the announcements. If you want to com communicate with students who are not in your class, as well as the students in your class, you can use the syllabus. And we're going to show you these two methods. So um, next, we're going to show method one. This is the announcement one. So if you want to communicate with your students about your plans for the course before the semester starts, um, you can use an announcement. So here's step one. So step one, you're going to go into your course in Canvas, go to settings all the way in the bottom on the left navigation, and then you're going to go to the navigation tab, and you're going to drag everything down except home, the COVID schedule, which is a brand new Canvas tool that Kate's going to talk about in a few minutes, and announcements. Um, if you are doing the step, at, the second part of what we're talking about, you may leave a uh, syllabus at the top, but I'll get to that in a few minutes. So you keep the things that you want the students to see and hide everything that you don't want them to see. Next, step two. Go to settings course details and then look down at under starts and ends and this is the information that makes your course visible and who it's visible to. So I suggest that you put in dates for the beginning and the end of the semester that you check students can only participate in the course between these dates. This means that even if students can your students can see the items in your course they can't do them until after the start first day of class. And then unchecked restrict students from viewing this course before the start date. So they're able to see it but not do anything. So that's step two under announcements. Step three is to publish your course and that's in the home page. And you go over and hit publish and you're going to publish your, your course and in a few minutes I'll show you what the students see when you do that. Step four is to go to announcements and actually make an announcement. So you're going to click on announcements and you can use the template language if you want to that Chris Millay was mentioning. Um, there's language in there. Um, you can send an announcement. You can also put that same kind of information on your syllabus to share with your students what's happening with your class. This is what the students will see that are in your class. They'll see home, the COVID schedule. That, again, that's the new Canvas tool that Kate's going to talk about. They'll see announcements and they'll see your announcement here and they'll get this announcement by default to their Penn State email. Now, depending on the notifications of the students, one thing to note is that they may be getting emails weekly that show all the updates that you're still working on in the course. So the things that you're changing, the things that you're updating um, in the course, they may might see that. So um, depending on their notifications. So that's something to keep in mind.